I grew up as a little kid out here. I kind of had it in my blood that I just loved being out on the water. I have no doubt that I was put on earth to grow oysters. Our coastal waters are incredibly valuable for people and nature. Shellfish help our coastal habitats thrive. Historically, in Massachusetts, oysters were abundant in our coastal waters. Through overfishing, destruction of habitat, and disease, we have about 1% of the oysters today that we had when Christopher Columbus sailed. Each individual animal filters about 50 gallons of water a day. Aquaculture is simply growing aquatic plants and animals for the purpose of providing food. The Nature Conservancy sees aquaculture as a tremendous opportunity and we're working directly with industry partners, academia, and government to bring science to the table, ensuring that aquaculture is done in a sustainable way now and into the future. If done in the right ways, in the right places, shellfish aquaculture can provide sustainable seafood while accelerating the pace of ecosystem recovery. So our collaboration came about because we have a question globally about how we can use aquaculture to create environmental benefits. Any farmer will tell you that the farm itself is a source of habitat for other species. We go out every day, we spend time on the water, we are out among our cages, among our oysters, and so we had a really strong hunch that, in fact, these commercial farms are actually providing much the same habitat that a wild reef would. As an oyster farm, we lack the ability to apply that scientific method. We actually have to bring in research partners to quantify and to do it in a way that is accepted by the broader science community. Uh, and that's been a really successful part of working with the Nature Conservancy. What we're doing is actually capturing underwater video and that data is then taken and will be analyzed to quantify the habitat value that is being created by the farm We've seen a lot of different fish species as well as a lot of crustacean species. We've seen many of the fish using the different types of gear, especially the floating gear. We're interested not just in how many fish there are and what kinds of fish there are, but we're also really interested in different ways in which the fish are using the aquaculture gear underwater. The Nature Conservancy's interest in sustainable aquaculture aligns well with our research priorities of research to inform management and expansion of sustainable aquaculture in the United States. Regulators and fishery managers who make decisions about aquaculture practices really need robust scientific data to inform their work. With growing demand for seafood and the need to conserve vulnerable ocean environments, shellfish aquaculture is one way to get us there. This project is just one piece of the puzzle, and that's why we're working with our colleagues around the world on aquaculture. Ultimately, shellfish aquaculture may benefit people and nature. We can use what we learn here in Massachusetts around the globe. We're really realizing that there's more value than just creating shellfish and jobs. Doing it responsibly where we can actually go out and and prove that it is good for the environment, for the habitat, for biodiversity. It's a win for everyone.